stick is out so bad, but you just like let it rock. Sometimes. That's the biting your tongue. Um, some yeah. Yeah, sometimes you can't with them, bro. When you want to just punch a nigga in the face at work, and you just walk away, that's biting your tongue. All right. You see My pops told me that shit. Let me just focus for a second. I'm gonna bang this out. I'm about to go rapid quick. So, I would say give um give each thing that I'm about to ask you. Uh, this isn't just so FYI, so you know what's going on. This isn't an interview. This is just me asking you questions about certain stuff. It's not no. Uh, like interrogation, I ain't no DJ Vlad. Even though he's not one, but people joke around and like to say it. I have the whole list of here of everything and all these are by this is Boosie badass, you feel me? Boosie gets he's getting paid to do all this shit, basically. Talk to this nigga, like they're so up right now that like them having conversations make money. Like literally. But it's fire. so my shit doesn't go. What's up, y'all? What's it called? Do you uh yeah, you can tell him what's up, but let what's me just good, get y'all? It's Rocket. Tune in. Back at it, East Smooth. Before you watch the video, like, comment, subscribe. Tune the fuck in, man. Did you know that Drake was a little bit Jewish? Oh, you want to talk about that Drake situation? Nigga, Drake said some shit how he spit on niggas. Yeah, I knew that nigga Drake was Jewish. He said some shit how he spit on niggas in one of his songs. And he said some shit like, hi, be ya. What do you think about funny. celebrities getting called out for flying on Spirit? Regular know, civilians think that they should be flying in jets and private planes and people are seeing celebrities on regular planes like that we would fly on. Cause niggas is human beings. Niggas don't got time for that shit, you feel me? Niggas don't got time to spend 50 bands. When I'm famous, I'm not spending 50 bands on a jet. I might do that shit a couple of times. I'm not going to do that shit every time I got to go somewhere. That's like, I, I don't know. Unless somebody paying for me to get on the jet, I'm not rocking with that shit. That shit, 50 beans out of my pockets. If I'm an artist, I got a thousand other ways to spend 50,000. That's probably why. Because I seen some other shit too. It was like, I don't even remember who it was, but they was talking about how um, they don't got time to spend like, it's like 80, 85 bands, I think. Some shit like that. Um, it's 85 bands to fly on a private jet or some shit. To go to like Miami or I don't know. But that shit is 85 bands I heard. Niggas ain't trying to spend that shit. Even to go to farthest, the closest place like Washington, D.C. That shit probably cost like 25 bands from here to Washington. I ain't trying to spend 25 bands to go to three different states when I could drive there in a nice Mercedes Benz or take a nice spirit first first class or some shit like that. Spend three bands instead of twenty five. What do you think about Michael Jackson wanting to be white? That's a and whole he, different he, story. He was a black he was a black kid like me, but yeah. That nigga was blacker than you, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know about that one. He just went to I heard that he went to like Be like, not no. He want the niggas to leave him alone. He was like, so many people was just like bothering him. He had too many fans. He just wanted to like calm shit down, disguise himself. I guess he made himself look ugly as fuck, but yeah, niggas stopped looking at him. Yeah, he wound up just looking uglier. I think that nigga still alive. Mm, Gangsta. <laughs> Nah, I'm real late. They fake this death. I know a couple of y'all niggas believe that shit. Not watching this. Getting to. I even and heard he was, he was at the Grammys. Gen he went to the Grammys dressed up as um Teddy Perkins. <laughs> real life. And if he was in today's generation, would he have been canceled on social media? Because you gotta understand, when MJ was around, there wasn't Instagram, there wasn't social media. Like, if say if he was an artist nowadays and he had his own Twitter and all that. Would he have been canceled in our generation? Basically, people are age being like, dude, what the bad. fuck are you doing? You're trying to be white when you're black. Nah, I think niggas are still jacking him as a king. He'd just be like a legend. 
he a legend now, but like he'd be like more of a legend if he was still alive. Just cause he was Michael Jackson. I don't even think. Like, yeah, but he never got. To, that's a fact. But he it's never a lot got of to the like the social media era. You, like yeah, that's yeah. what I'm trying to explain to you. I'm trying to say like if he was in this era with having Twitters where anybody could make an Instagram about you, dude, he would be. I'm gonna tell you, he would be getting fucking ripped. He would have people like me in the comments like you fucking retard and. You feel me? Like, I'm not like Man, that. I won't I would, like, that I'll, I'll be like, dude, what are you doing? It's a million people on the... It's like eight billion That's people crazy, on the man. world, bro. And every, I know everybody be doing weird and shit. I don't judge. Jackson That's did. weird to me. That is weird as fuck. change your skin color? You know, a baseball player did that shit too, bro. Eric, a lot of niggas did. Who did it? I think I know who it is. They can't do it off the top of my head, though. Um, A lot of niggas did that shit, though, bro. It's just like they bleach their skin. I guess they don't want niggas recognizing them. They do that shit. I don't know. Niggas don't want to be black. I don't know. That shit is awkward, bro, but it's a great mystery. What do you think about LeBron literally being, he's literally the GOAT. He lived up to the height. He was 18 at our age having people tell him, dude, you're the next Michael Jordan. You, you have to do this. You have to live up to this. And he wound up, he's 39, 40, dad's got kids, and he he, he did it. He he had lived up to all that shit. And yeah, he was 18 key. in the NBA getting told in his ear, dude, you have to be this next GOAT generation. And he wound up being it. LeBron, you know what I mean? I was buying LeBron shoes when I used to play basketball. Like, nah, facts. I didn't even hold you. I had some pair of LeBron shoes. I broke my ankles in the motherfucker. That broke one of my ankles in one of the motherfuckers riding the bike against the... What's my cool? LeBron is a goat though. And it got like a thousand wins. Yeah. Real life. That's crazy. Nigga was only 18 in the NBA. You and, could do uh, anything, nigga. What do you think about um Blueface? He's facing an attempted murder charge right now on some dumb shit. Do you hope he gets out on bond? Yeah, niggas know he got it on bone. That's light. He definitely didn't do that shit. I don't know. He ain't even built like that. He just <laughs> he he runs a reality show with a lot of females now, so he like he's just been getting into stupid trouble. Yeah, I heard Christine Rock hit that nigga in the hat with a honey bottle. Yeah, they got a they're a little bit toxic that relationship. Yeah, nigga, they ain't more than toxic. They like that shit though. That's the scary thing. Yeah, bro, you got that big ass camera thing, bro. Like, and you that don't shoot videos. Like, what the fuck, Who, him? bro? You. Yeah, that camera, right? Oh, that that's my dad's. I don't that's know. Your dad's? Yeah, I used to use that shit, and it, like, didn't work. Now my dad, he tries to, like, make me jealous because you see the phone thing on it? Yeah. He puts his phone on it and tries to, like, make me want it back. You can't do that shit with me? <laughs> I don't know how to use that shit. I'll teach you. <laughs> Yo, I went through one of them shits. They like, $60 on Amazon. Not All that right. one. Let's get back to the real shit. That one is seven hundred and fifty dollars. My oh, grandma. That's some bought crazy it. shit. Yeah, my grandma got it like two uh, two Christmases ago, and like he was pissed when I stopped using it. He's like, she spent seven hundred beans on this, and like you don't even use it no more. I was like, dude, my camera's too heavy. Basically, that camera is too heavy for that. I used yeah, to be that on shit that. look mad big for that. Yeah. <laughs> You feel me? And he he would like he just wouldn't understand. And then he tried for himself, and the can when it goes on that, and you turn that thing on, that thing would just the throttle was the machine wasn't strong enough, and it would just shake like it couldn't handle it at all, and just oh, start word. shaking. Cause all that you can move that with knobs and stuff through a phone, but like the camera was too heavy and shit. Cause That's I would crazy. do it, and I would be like shooting. And the camera would just start start going like this. <clears throat> I was like, like I can't man. shoot like that. I'm um, better off holding it in my fucking hand. So that's what I do. I put it in my hand. <sighs> but I don't cut anything out. So you guys just heard that. And my, I, I've been putting you guys here, man. I've been putting my voice in video. Oh, nice. You know I, mean? I don't know if you noticed that. So he gonna be showing his face. Give him a year. It's just I have to clean up my look, like. I don't want to come on camera like this. Like it's nah, not, baby. it's not, it's not even that. I'm not saying. Now nah, you look, you look like a millionaire, <laughs> a car millionaire. I just do like you know. You want some Kanye West shit? Like here's the thing. Like yeah, I feel like I guess not even like that. I'm just saying like if I do want to go, if I'm gonna go on camera, like 
I really want to like look a certain way. Like I'm not trying to impress niggas, but I do want to look a certain way if I'm on camera. No, I feel you. I know what you mean. Like I took a shower before I got here. Like, I look like a little think bum right now. Shower but... makes you it makes everything better. Or no. Hell yeah. I look like a bum you, right now, but I know take, my body clean. Do you take cold showers or hot showers? Nigga, I take stable hot showers. Yeah, so. should be like, <sighs> hot as fuck. Yeah, sometimes if I don't feel good, I have to do that. Like, I don't like doing that all the time, but it, it does work for me sometimes. Nah, I love taking hot showers. I take hot showers in the morning, like, when I wake up, and that shit just wake me up. Get a nice iced coffee from Dunkin' some days. Go to McDonald's or go to Gems. You know that the uh, the coffee actually is like very toxic for your stomach. Nah, Sometimes, for real? yeah. Like do you like if I don't you I mean, I'd be seeing you drink your coffee sometimes with your girl. Like do you guys ever notice like you guys have to might like fart or shit sometimes? It's because oh, of yeah. the, the coffee. This you, crazy. Talking <laughs> about this on camera. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm I'm very raw. Um, it's 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 like a. <laughs> You must have smoked before you came. It's um, it's very toxic. You feel me? Like it makes like like extra gases in your stomach and stuff. Like, uh, bro. Like sometimes, and it, it's because we be hitting these carts and shit too. Sometimes, like even right now, a little bit. Like I feel like I have air bubbles in my stomach, and like it might like it could be from like very like just like air that like I don't need in me. You know, I know what you mean. No, I know. I know that part. Sometimes. It's not like an everyday thing. Like, it'll just, like, ha say, like, a, so today I didn't really eat as much today. I'm kind of just, like, off a banana and a couple other things. But Pause. Yeah, in fact, <laughs> I just ate a cold-ass banana in the fucking fridge. I was like, dude, Dad, I never ate a cold banana before, but yeah. Oh, and, like, that's the only thing in my stomach, so my stomach kind of feels, like, just, like, empty with air, I guess. Nah, but, um, good. next thing, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, what do you think? See, I don't even be eating this. I'm too nice. What do you think about white rappers dying? How, how come so many black rappers are dying, but we don't see white rappers die all the time? Like, nah, that's a that? fact. I ain't gonna hold you, though. That's a good topic. I ain't gonna hold you, though. That's weird. It's always black. How many white rappers is there? Like, real white rappers. Rappers, that's what, not And singers. the ones you could really think of who died is who? Lil Peep. Lil Zan, not, not, not Lil Peep, he ain't died yet. Lil Zan did. Lil Zan, yeah, Lil Zan But died. white rappers... Mac Mac Miller, yeah, Lil Zan. Right. Yeah, look, the white rappers I know that died died off of drugs. Who's the white rapper you could say really gangbang? Yeah, that too. But just think about like in general. Don't even think about drill. Just think about like like. I don't really look at that stuff too, but I do. Nah, I, if that's some, like I do agree, agree with that. That's why a lot of niggas die. Take off, like, he was the humblest nigga that died. But he died because of an argument. Niggas die off of dumb shit. White niggas, they stay That's in their own little, serious. they stay in their own little corner. They make their mullies. And they just go play the guitar, bro, and fucking drink beer. That's what white niggas do, bro. Yeah. White niggas drink honey, get crazy, do a drill. I they do a, a drill to kill niggas. Yeah. Once the nigga famous, they got the drop on the famous nigga, nigga dead. Bang. Or they got in an argument, nigga dead. Bang. That's it. It's mad dumb shit. White niggas just stay in their own lane. White niggas is cool with each other. White niggas, Spanish niggas, you don't really see Spanish niggas dissing each other. It's only like the black people, honestly. Yeah. No offense. I'm not racist, y'all. No, you're 100% right, yeah. I'm not racist, it's just like, y'all niggas be starting mad drama for no reason. With their own race? Yeah. yeah now, that, now that you got me thinking Niggas be wanting to be, be competitive that. to each other, like niggas want to see who going to grind first, who going to get a money first, bro, like. Basically, from what the last dude said in the podcast, the la I had another guy here, Demias973, to add on that, he said people was trying to see who's the next op, who's the next dead op, right? Yeah, niggas find that too, bro. Niggas just be mad petty with the shits that day, bro. I don't be understanding niggas. Real life. Shit is crazy out here in these streets. 
Shit is wicked. Shit got cold. You feel me? I'm going I'm 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 to come in for one of these. We got a couple more, and then he's about to go to work. I'm going to actually come in for this. So you guys ready? In three, two, what? I'm here. That's so smooth. <laughs> what up, yo? Well, my nigga, Tell smooth. Me. Be really? active. Just give me a sec, because you know we be doing this shit raw. This shit is all off the muscle, literally. We're pushing 110,000 fucking views on YouTube. Just on one. Not that. That's just on one video. That shit that I'm talking about. That's you feel me for See, my whole shit. Some shit the other day with like sixty seven thousand. Yeah, that too. And the and the, um the shit that I'm talking about right now, the one with Didi Osama and Sugar Hill Dita, that's at like hundred twenty five thousand views. <laughs> one two five zero zero. You feel me? That's all organic. Feel me? I think it's need to tune in more though. We need yeah. a mil. We need a hundred thousand subscribers. We need. A hundred thousand comments and a million fucking likes. Stop fucking playing, y'all. Gangsta. So why do women keep having kids with Nick Cannon and he has multiple baby number mothers? If you don't know, the dude has nine wives and he has like twenty five kids right now. Niggas, you wanna know why niggas keep having kids with Nick Cannon, bro? Niggas keep having kids. Bitches keep having kids with Nick Cannon, cause all his kids is straight. So they like, mean they're straight. They eat and they got bread. They looking nice. So the bitches is like, word, I'm on it. They want the money. I hit this shit. Word. This nigga, it's all GGC. GGC. And what do you think about? I already asked this before. You've already, we've already talked about this. But like Tory Lanez, he's doing like 23 years. How the fuck? He's doing is 23 he? years. Yeah. How is he gonna get he's out of this? He's just talking about him in court. He got locked up in the New Year. That's crazy. I forgot about that shit. Yo, that's wild. He ain't even shoot the bitch. Tory Lanez did not shoot the bitch, y'all. It was well, Kelsey. Well, he he. I mean, I don't I don't. His don't fingers know. wasn't even on the gun, bro. <laughs> that fucked up. See, yeah, I just think I think he might have did it. I just think they don't have enough evidence. He probably paid that bitch. He probably gave her like ten bands, and she still didn't keep her mouth shut. Right? It's fucked up. Um, and she did get for 10 bands and she spent that shit. And she told, she could have got locked up too, though. Because she took the bribe. Will Tory Lanez be a target in L.A. County Jail? Definitely. Nah, you checking it? I think he would. These are all shits that, like, famous rappers talk about. DJ Vlad and Boosie. I mean, I'm not even listening, but I... <laughs> I, I do think he'll be a target. Certain niggas going on his head, but he totally lanes. That nigga been out for like 20 years. Shit busted. This nigga DJ Vlad really makes so much money off of this shit. This is literally what we're doing right now. This nigga's probably made like three, five bands off of this video. It don't seem like a lot, bro, but when you got yeah, this much right. videos, it, it's worth it. You feel me? And I'm being dead ass. I could have told you 13,000 and just a lot off the ass, but he's probably getting like three, four bands for this video. Just for this. Okay. But we got to run through these real quick. We got to keep Shit's going. crazy, bro. Yeah, we're doing perfect because this shit brings in money. The Jews, cool, the Jews, the Jews. What else? What else? Fucking nigga got that. Avengers in here. Yeah, I ain't never even I seen like that in here. I never seen that in here. That's crazy. It used to be in the booth. I brought it out here. I put. Them, I'm, I gotta put more of the stuff. Cause like when you see stuff like that, that's just like stuff that I'm into. I'm I think when niggas go in the booth, they just fingers. focus on the mic and, and the headphones yeah. and recording. I think when niggas come out here, they just look at everything and relax. Cause usually a lot of niggas come here and just record. A lot of niggas don't come here and just sit down. Yeah, a hundred percent. They only sit down and talk after when you mixing they shit. Yeah, and like by the you feel me? If yeah. the music playing out loud and shit. Yeah, shit blasting. People aren't usually Not come just here. sitting like this. Like, shit quiet. Get yeah, an extra it's, yeah. thirty forty minutes. Cause it's you feel me. Niggas do our podcast. Cause my son should move fuck with me. Yo, why yo yo? Y'all really hit me. Why other people smooth? always be asking me? Oh, they come in here and they're like, "Y'all ready?" Me and my son Smooth got an argument the other day, cause 
I went to the picture. And he sent me the picture, but I ain't know he sent me the picture. So we got in a big ass argument. She was hilarious. Top that, Nick. Of course, bro. I just yeah. got that hook. Yeah, feel me? So settled with that. Don't worry, guys. I didn't forget about you. I'm right here. I'm trying to yeah, my figure son out some cool doing his shit. Thing. Not some bullshit, because you guys don't want to hear about no fight. You want to hear about some interesting, juicy sex. And y'all got to tune in. Wait, what? He wildin'. Y'all got to tune into the studio session, because we got two tracks on the way. Blinker it, actually. Blink don't, don't, don't blinker it don't if you're going to cough like crazy. Nah, I haven't been going for like that. You gotta be older. Oh shit, you guys are not playing with each other. Damn. I'm dead. <coughs> Bro, we need some interesting shit. Come on. I need some fucking water. <laughs> Take a cup over there. Just like be careful. <coughs> Cause there's a whole mic, yeah. All these ropes and shit. And bro, like soon, like you feel me after I got I gotta tell you something. I'll tell you real quick, even though I'm trying to do like three things at once. Bro, like, we got to do, like, a live performance video, but, like, yeah, this has to be a... I want to do, like, a certain type of song, and I want to do it in here where I just film, like, a video on my phone in 4K and literally just, like, like this or whatever way we do it and just put the, the Newman mic, like, right here and just basically you rap the whole song over and, like, instead of doing, like, multiple angles and shots, just do, like, one raw video of me moving around, making it look cool and... I've been asking you. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> this nigga. Been asking you like, I asked him. I <coughs> Still coughing. I asked him last time when we was fighting. I was like, yo, bro, shoot the video. Bro, where'd the car like, go? Oh. <laughs> Thinking crazy, y'all. Damn, that's crazy. I still haven't found some. One second. This is gonna be like last two things, two more topics. See, I'm keeping them entertained for you too. I'm mm -hmm. learning. I've been practicing for y'all. Okay. Come on, come on. Tell me. Oh, this is a good one, bro. This is a good Dude, one, y'all. Why? Why and W Melly's music is like so good. That should just be hit. I forgot. You know about he that. coming out this year, bro. Is he gonna come out? I think so. I seen a lot of shit that saying he was free. He was um free twenty twenty three. I don't believe it, bro. Yeah, that's a good fight too. Cause, come on. I don't think he. I think he's lying. <laughs> Got the sniffles, y'all. What you gonna call it? Nah, cause <coughs> I seen some shit on his lawyer page. I be like following him shit. And they said he was out twenty twenty three. What you gonna call it? But he also did have the death penalty back against him. Like he was face they took the death penalty off, they gave him life, and then they put it back on. And then niggas said he was gonna be free twenty twenty three. That shit don't add up at all. You know Bandman Kivo? He has six kids, four different women, and he only pays $900 in child support. How is he doing that? that that's crazy. At least he's giving them $900. That's bad, though. That nigga got some. 900 That's so bad. No, nah, that's not bad. That's 900 a month for their kid. Dude, How old is their kid? How old is his kids? They Baby, you know, they... Anything yeah. under eighteen, but you feel me, dude. Yeah, but like, I don't think they. I don't think they over. It should and, be like five k, bro. Yeah, but they babies right now. They don't need that shit. They got that shit in like junior high school. High nah, school. it's not. They need it when they're kids. When they're in high school, the parents be like, "Fuck you." The parents be the kids be like the babies need. Pay, it's for the pampers. It should be like five. It should be like five thousand dollars. 
Bro, they should be shit out with that. Try to support his scheme too, because he probably be chilling with his kids. And he be doing everything in the world for them. Mm -hmm. My pops, we used to pay child support. He used to take us out to eat, take us to the movies, get us clothes, get us sneakers. My mom didn't do none of that, right? Mm -hmm. She ain't do nothing. And my pops paid three seventy five plus three seventy five for me and my sister a month. He told you all that? I know, because I had to go to court with them one time. But he told me that too, but shit is crazy. Did you ever have to talk on stand? No, nah, but they were going to make me one time. Because my mom's was to try and let me go to my pop. Like, I, you know how I fuck with my pops pay more than I fuck with my mom. Yeah. I think everybody know that shit. Like, I got that vibe too. Yeah. I could tell. Pops was like, she was trying to like, take me. Make me go to hard crib, man. My pops was like, you guys probably crazy. like, if you got, you just too much beefing. Yeah, she like mad dramatic. Gangster. Okay, I need. I got one more. I can't do it. I don't know why this is. Usually I'm faster, but I want to find a good one. I'm gonna be setting this up while you you talk about this. Hold on. All right, let's go. Do shots first. Come through. The come through beat. Okay. Do that one first. And we use an auto tune. For both songs. Yo, the little baby one, y'all. I basically freestyled that shit. So like, y'all gotta tune in. I wrote, I wrote, twelve bars off the head, and then I wrote some other shit. <laughs> Smoking a spliff. <laughs> like shit is crazy out here, man. <laughs> Nigga, 2023, stepping on niggas' heads, give a fuck what you say, go eat a dick. Alright, yo, what we talking about, Smooth? Yo, what the fuck? What do you think about the uh, the rap industry coming up? Hold on, it's uh, Lil Baby Famous? No, Baby's a go. Yeah, nah, nah, the other one. Come Through? That's the second one. We're gonna do that one second. But this one is gonna be Letty. Bobby? Huh? Is it Bobby? B nah, Ben Man Drew. Send them again, because I'm looking, but I, don't, I only see one. It's on top of the five year old one. Oh, okay. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, what do you think about like our rap industry, bro? Like, where it's going? Like, you feel me? You gotta think big, cause I I say that as a small question, but like my mind is so big, bro. Like you gotta understand. Like when I say that to you, I'm gonna just say it so you know what I'm talking about. I'm thinking like big stages, like you, like dude. You remember we had at a point we were bumping Blueface. You feel me? Bust down, Tatiana. I want to see you. We all. You feel me? We were like that's and these are that's like errors and shit. Then we had like DDG who just came. He kind of took over 2022 and all these. You feel me? And all the all these people, bro. Like, there's YouTuber rappers. There's so much shit going on in the rap game. Like, I'm just trying to open your mind right now. Nah, I feel you. Talk about that. What you wanna call it? I feel like, like the rap game is going in a different lane right now. I ain't gonna hold you with all these fourteen year old rappers, nine year old rappers. It's bad and good. like yeah, bro. Shit is getting outrageous, bro. Like like niggas niggas don't, niggas don't know what they doing, but like niggas is just getting famous for nothing. You feel me? The wrong people. And niggas is getting famous. famous. Niggas is getting famous for talking about like dumb shit, bro. It's not even like, like yeah. you listen to the song ten times, you tell that's some dumb shit, bro. Like yeah, niggas is like, that. and then fucking that's how real it is, bro. For some people. And that a lot of the niggas is falling off, bro. A lot of niggas that we used to bump heavy is falling off, bro. Or a lot of niggas is dying. Like what we was talking about earlier. Really. A lot of niggas is dying. A lot of niggas died, bro, this year, straight up. A lot of niggas is falling off. A lot of niggas getting locked up. Feel me? Look at the lens. And it's just a lot of whack niggas. You feel me? Shit is crazy, y'all. But when I'm on, I'm going to change the whole wave. You feel, obviously, we know, we now know how this shit works. Like, everybody has their own time. And the next one, uh, 
Bobby. Now the next one is the little baby one, the famous. Are uh, uh, we know like that yeah, everybody has their own time. Like you can't like there's no way to just like get famous or some sh shit. Yeah, no, fact. You really have to like meet Drake, like and post a picture and do that if you want to get famous right away. But other than that, yeah. right? Yeah, that ass. You gotta meet Drake or some like Jay Z or some wild shit. To really get or put DJ on, Kali. Like, overnight. You, you meet know? DJ Kali and you play you play a song, you take a video next to DJ Kali and with like I don't know where you see DJ Kali like, oh shit, that's DJ Kali. You play your music and take a nice selfie with him, you famous. Yeah. I mean right. I fuck with DJ Khaled, even though people be making fun of him, like he really like produces and does some shit. Nah, so DJ Khaled. He, he a does goat, something. Bro. He's a goat. Yeah. To me. He might make fake beats. Almost like, every... Nah, he don't make fake beats. Shit, but yeah, he, he buy... If he can't make a beat, he'll buy a beat off of somebody for like... His ideas is, He's really good. I don't care what no one says. <coughs> I don't care. Film it. Yeah. yeah. Do, do you... You feel me? I hate asking this because like it's not your... Like... You're not, you don't have to, but like, do you have, because every nigga is always like, bro, I don't talk to niggas. Uh, I'll just say, I don't know, not, you feel me, but like, do you know anything that's interesting, like, in the world that you watch? Like, do, what do you, do you watch YouTube, this TV? What do you be doing? I be watching Wallow and Gilly, I ain't gonna hold you. What do you watch? Wallow and Gilly, like, worth a um, 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 million dollars worth of game. Shit. It's like a podcast too, but like yeah, explain it. Um, it's um Wallow and Gilly. Shout out to Wallow and Gilly, y'all niggas and goats. Um, one nigga Wallow nigga was booked for Mad Long, and he mad motivational now. My nigga Gilly, he from Philly. He a rapper. He used to be a rapper. He famous now. And niggas just talk about real shit like this on camera, but it's like famous niggas that go up there like Lil Durk. Straight hood niggas though, like not no bitch niggas. Like you know what I mean? Facts. <laughs> like Rod Wave, not not Rod Wave. I'm at Roddy Witch. I'm at Roddy Witch. I'm saying Witch like a fucking Chinese nigga. <laughs> Roddy fucking. Witch. But yeah, like real niggas though. That shit is fire and they mad motivational. I watch Andrew Tate. I watch a lot of Andrew Tate and Aiden Ross. Yeah, talk about that real quick. Yo. Yeah. He just got let off. The, he, I just seen a video of him getting let off. He's walking in handcuffs with some two bitches. Him, he looked mad as hell. Oh, you don't know truck. what happened? I, he, bro, they, he, look, so they're he, taking him out in the truck. Nigga, right Andrew Tate. They got Andrew Tate locked up for laundry. Mad but at first, they tried to lock him up for trafficking. So he was booked, right? They blah, blah. They found out it was for um, trafficking money, not bitches. They thought he was trafficking bitches. He was doing mad illegal money shit. So they seized his Bugatti. They took his mansion. They took um everything from him. They took like six bills from him. Not six bills, six mil or some shit like that. They took everything from him, right? You feel me? And he got locked up, blah, blah. Then all of a sudden, he's in a hospital for unknown causes. Like, the fuck is going on here, y'all? Only God knows. Yo, when I'm famous, that's the first nigga I'm making up with, though. I ain't gonna hold you. Andrew Tate. That nigga know some... He knows some secrets. I, I ain't gonna hold you. Gangster. But y'all gotta tune in. Keep me yeah. up. You feel me? Hold on. My bad. I gotta text y'all. From always money. Don't zoom into the tissue, bro. I was blowing in my nose into this shit. Put this shit in my hand. What, um, what you gonna call it? Yeah, as I was saying, you know what I was saying? Andrew Tate, that nigga's a goat. What happened? Peep that. What do you think about that? Oh, that's fire. I like um Asteroids. That's my favorite game. Against the, um, you know what I'm horrible at? Avalanches. I played that shit twice because I was horrible at it. Fuck. Flex. I like the battery in this GoPro and then be good to go so I, that's I, I always have to do that anyway so just uh, another get on another thing while I do this um, you want me to um, like get on another topic or you yeah. want me to like like end it another topic
Cause you're good. Fuck you're man, this nigga got me talking a lot. Nigga talking about I'm good. Nigga, it's a lot of talking. I'm under pressure. Um, y'all gotta tune in. Bro, I can't wait till we get to DJ Vlad's level. Nah, that ass. What's your call it? Fuck DJ Vlad. <laughs> You go yeah, get he him. definitely is like an informant, bro. A higher level. Cause he he used to, he the way he does it too is weird. He'll be like he's not even like chill like me like behind camera, bro. Will be like he'll be like talking to fucking Adam from No Jumper and be like, yeah, I want to pay like OJ a mil to know what he really did, and I want to know everything. I'm <laughs> <That's laughs> dead. Man. Nah, OJ like that. OJ though. He'll be able to tell niggas everything, because he was booked for how long? Yeah, bro, but OJ doesn't want it. He went on the Nelk Boy shit, and they were like, what happened to Ron and Nicole? And he was like, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get into that. Niggas give him a mail here, talk about it. He, I don't know. If I was OJ, and niggas gave me a mail to talk about how I wanted to go steal my trophy, and then I was in a high-speed chase... He doesn't want to talk about I'll it. I'll be like this. He, he did it. He doesn't. Yeah, facts. Then he killed somebody too or not? He did all the murders. That's why he doesn't want to do the podcast. <laughs> we all know. Everyone knows he did it. Like with the fake love thing. Like really. Yeah, that fake when love. you get a chance, look into it. You're going to see. It. He did all those shits. That's why like. Yeah, I never like got him really in tune with that shit. I just like know about that shit. He don't he don't wanna do no podcast because like what the fuck is he really gonna say? But yeah. He's he, a serial he killer? All those murders, yeah. It's crazy. He's crazy, yeah. Nigga, OJ, you crazy. Hope you watching this right now. Like Nigga, how, you crazy. The question really is, is how did he beat those cases? How did he do that? That's crazy. That glove, nigga. Yo, if you do a drill. Not even want to talk about this on camera. He, Two yeah, gloves. Nah, you you don't have yeah you you could it don't matter but like let's talk about really like bro how did he put he he bro it took, he made he made putting on a glove take ten minutes. He's the best actor. And then after he had got out he got he got uh, all these promos with like OJ and Orange Juice the drink. He did commercials for Orange Juice bro and was making bread in the nineties. Like, make him bread off of that because his name was OJ and it went with OJ. I didn't even know about that. He was like, in the commercial, you could get your OJ. And then while all these murders and shit's going on and they're like trying to jail him and all the black people back then in the community were saying, free OJ, free OJ, because they were using it as a movement and saying, fuck the cops, fuck the cops, even though nigga really did the murders. Now we know 20 years later, but back then they were thinking that for this is a black movement that white people are always trying to do. Fuck these cops, we got them. Yeah, 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 free OJ, we're doing yeah, the right free. thing. Nigga was a murderer, now he's out now and everybody's like, oh, shit. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't That's understand this real man. I can't believe it. He's a murderer. Restart. Yeah, get on another topic real quick. What the topic, nigga? Just have to restart if there's some more green. Everything's good. That shit just. This nigga just got me on another topic. Yeah, I know it's stressful, but what else is there to do? Hold on, yeah, we could talk about um my views. I just had twenty um twenty k twenty thousand views on smoke season. Um, last time I came, it was nineteen thousand, but. 20,000 is a big ass step from 19,000. Nigga, that's 20,000 niggas that heard my shit. Feel me? Congratulations. Good looking, bro. Um, niggas is trying. I'm, I'm about to start booking mad shows. Damn, that shit bright. That shit really no bright, yeah. That don't even look good. What you gonna call I'm it? I just wanna see what it looked like. This going to the front. Oh, that nigga East Move be wildin'. He be posting ugly ass pictures of me, too. <laughs> Gangsta. I don't but, even think that, but that's funny you said that. Nah, like every every you only post it like three fire like on um insta thing on Instagram. On your mixed by smooth shit, it's only like three nice ones. Like the rest is like me wow, with my mouth lot. open, my chip ass too. Thanks a lot. Uh oh uh, fucking my eye is like twitched out and shit. Like I'll be like, damn son. Like, if you do take pictures of me or videos today, you got to get me in the right angles, bro. Because, like, you be like, 
Yeah, the worst ankle, son. <laughs> That's funny you think that. Gangster. But, um, what the f Yo, bro, I got a badass memory. Um. The way I take my pictures, bro, is up close and personal. So, that's. Yeah, that's you got personal. Style. If that's not your style, you feel me? Like, that's my style, so that might be why. But I can't change my style. That's the way I shoot. I'd be like, I'm, I'm an aggressive photographer. Nah, I feel you. <laughs> then I'm an aggressive photographer. No, I'm no, not no, even. I, I'm, not, I'm saying that because I seen some shit the other day on YouTube of an aggressive photographer. There's this white nigga who walks around in New York, bro, and like, he goes around in niggas' faces, and he's like, he's, he's like this, bro. He's like, Right in their face, bro. And the people, like, the pictures that he gets, the people are like, but his camera's so good, bro. So he gets it like fire? And that, yeah, that's how he gets, that's how he makes, that's how he does his stuff. Like, I don't take pictures of people, like, randomly in public. I don't really, I'm not really into that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> nah, I feel you. That shit awkward. I wouldn't do that. That's not what I do, you feel me? I do this. I get in the booth with